Well, Catherine, you know, one of those things that you're going to have to be really quiet about because we're actually sneaking inside before the general public is able to get in for their first look at this really exciting project. This is the Columbus Crossing Borders project. It's actually starting today. I want to give you a look at some of these paintings. You're able to see it's very interesting. There's 34 different artists work, and uh, one of the really unique things is that not just uh, some of the aspects of one painting here, but obviously you've got the ocean carrying over into another painting, the Statue of Liberty carrying over into another painting. So these paintings really do have a tendency to cross borders. Now this is a traveling art exhibit making its rounds across the state and the country. Here's what you can expect if you're going to swing by. 34 artists are responding to stories shared by refugees. And the goal with all of this is to shed light on a human, uh, humanitarian crisis and they're hopeful just to get a conversation going. We, we hope through this exhibit that people will open their minds and their hearts to the whole subject of forced migration. Um, it's a story that is common to so many of us. And while immigration can be a very controversial or if not polarizing topic right now in our country, uh, we just can't ignore families being forced to flee due to war, persecution, extreme poverty. Now, the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center has issued a response to President Trump's executive action in part saying, quote, the recent images, audio and news coverage of children being separated from their families at the border are infuriating and heartbreaking. It later goes on to say and make a correlation between Native Americans and Japanese internment. Now this exhibit will be unveiled here a little bit later on today. It's actually going to be lasting all the way through August 19th, so plenty of time to be able to get out and see some of this artwork. For now, reporting live in downtown, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side. Jake, thank you.